Welcome back, this is Dr. Chen Sung, where clinical excellence meets excellent results. The fastest way to reduce stress, the physiological sigh. What is it, what does it do, and how can we improve our stress levels very quickly? So let's get right into it. The physiological sigh is basically a double inhale followed by a long exhale. So this is how it's done. You go, Basically, you take a deep inhale through the nose, and when you're done, you take a little bit more in, and then followed by a long exhale, okay? What does that do? It forces air into the alveoli, or the sacs of the lung, okay? And basically, people usually think about the lung as just like a balloon, but it it's like a balloon, but it has these little uh, areas that need to open up called the alveoli. So, when we go through different stressful moments and not breathing correctly, not exercising, and not doing the things that we should do, some of these sacs don't inflate, or it's not as efficient as it should be. And doing that extra inhale will open up the, the lung sacs or the alveoli, okay? When you lay down the sacs or the alveoli on the ground, it's about 50 to 140 square meters. The singles tennis court is approximately 195.7.71 meter square meters. All right, so it's approximately the size of a tennis court. What it does is it offloads maximum carbon dioxide from our system to be able to double inhale. During inhalation, the heart rate actually increases. So when you do this, the diaphragm contracts and goes down. The thoracic cavity, okay, actually increases in size. When that happens, the heart temporarily will increase in size, increasing volume in the heart. That itself will send a signal. So the thoracic cavity will increase in size, increase heart volume, and then sends a signal to the brain going, oh, wait a minute, we need to increase our uh, heart rate. So the brain sends a signal back to the heart and goes, increase the heart rate. So the inhalation portion actually increases heart rate. The exhalation or exhale of, the, of your breath decreases the heart rate by decreasing the thoracic size cavity, increase or decreasing the heart volume, sending the signal and the brain goes, oh, let me decrease the heart rate. All right, so that's how it works. The two inhales might temporarily increase your heart uh, rate, but the long exhale will decrease your heart rate and will have a uh, parasympathetic response over time. So the diaphragm is innervated by the phrenic nerve. That comes from the cervical spine in the neck, cervical number three, four, and five, okay? And that innervates almost all of the diaphragm, except there's a part called the crust of the diaphragm, which is innervated by the vagus nerve. And the vagus nerve innervates a lot of our organs, and the vagus nerve has a parasympathetic response. So by increasing the movement of that diaphragm, you're actually stimulating the vagus nerve, having a parasympathetic or a calming effect in our system, okay? Now, this idea of the physiological psi comes from Dr. Jack Fellman, and he took the work from other scientists back in the 1930s, but he really expanded on it. And Dr. Mar uh, Andrew Huberman actually made it very popular. So people are getting to really understand this because of Dr. Huberman's work and his podcast. I'll link his podcast below in the description. All right, so let's talk about this one more time. How do we do this? It only takes one to three physiological size, right? That repetition. So one deep inhale followed by a short inhale, right? Through the nose. You want to inhale through the nose. So a deep inhale followed by a short uh, inhale right at the end just to increase the um, 
or open up the alveoli of the lungs. And you want to do that through the nose, followed by a long exhale through the mouth. Okay, that's basically one cycle. You can do one to three cycles, and that's enough to reduce your stress load and calm down your heart rate, okay, and have a parasympathetic response. So, inhaling through the nose will stimulate the paranasal sinuses, which also increases nitric oxide, right? So, breathing through the nose stimulates nitric oxide, and nitric oxide is a vasodilator. It helps to open up the blood vessels. Okay, increases circulation. The exhale, if you do it with humming, will also increase nitric oxide by almost 15 fold. So the way to do this is the two deep inhales followed by a long exhale. If you want to actually increase nitric oxide during the exhale, you hum. So it, just, it goes like this, it goes. Mm, and you breathe all the way out. That humming, the oscillation of that humming stimulates the paranasal sinuses even further to increase nitric oxide. So the traditional way would be doing it this way with the silent exhale. But if you want to increase nitric oxide even further, you can do the exhale with humming. Okay? My name is Dr. Jin Sung, where clinical excellence meets excellent results. And we'll see you guys next week on the healthy side. Have an awesome day.